everyone, so today's the day that I get to do something that I've been waiting to do since like the third grade and I'm very excited. I'm about to eat an apple. <laughs> so basically, long story short, I ate apples as a kid about the third grade. I developed a very serious allergy to apples and I had to stop eating them because I went into anaphylactic shock and like all that nonsense because of it. I can't get it to cut the nuts. This isn't working, I'm getting a knife. <laughs> So here we go, got a knife. So basically now, flashback, or flash forward many years later, I'm 19, haven't had an apple since I was probably like eight, nine years old. And I'm gonna try it, because I used to be allergic to like nearly every fruit, a few vegetables, and now literally like, I eat most of them. Most of my allergies have like, I've grown out of them, they've went away with ejections, all that. So, went to church today, prayed for apples. <laughs> Hopefully we don't die now. Okay, I think I'm gonna just like sit it on my tongue for a bit and like wait and see if anything happens before I like take a bite and eat it. But I also gotta move fast because apples get gross if you don't like eat them after you bite into them and cut them or whatever. So here we go. Okay, I got a tiny bit there in my mouth, but we're gonna see what happens. I have my EpiPen just in case. It expires this month, so we're going to be using some janky EpiPens if anything happens. We also have Benadryl. Worst comes to worst. We obviously want to try Benadryl before we and stab myself. Here. Yes. Also, my mother's here. Children, do not try apples alone. <laughs> do it with friends around to potentially save your life. So, yeah. Hopefully I don't die today. You guys are waiting. I might as well use this as an opportunity to teach people how to use an EpiPen because that's important, right? So basically, the real EpiPen looks like this. This one is a trainer. So your real EpiPen is going to come in this like safety kit so you don't accidentally like run around stabbing people. You have to pull it out of here, take it out of here, and then it looks like the trainer at this point. So we're going to put this back away so I don't die, right? So the trainer. When you use it, you basically, there's instructions on the back, they're really self-explanatory. You have to pull the safety tip because it's not going to eject until you pull it. So you pull the tip, and then you take it and you jam it into the thigh and you hold it for 30 seconds. So, let me stand up here. Basically, it goes through pants, so that's good. You don't have to like depant anyone if you need to do it fast, but I've never had to like do it that fast so I've always had time to like take my pants off so I don't put like a hole in my jeans or whatever but you just take it and you literally just like jab it in like right here on your thigh big old thigh you hold it for like 30 seconds and then you release and on the real EpiPen your needle's gonna come out of this part here so when you release it's gonna go back inside so you don't have to see the needle at all but the trainer doesn't do that so yeah y'all have just been edumacated on how to use an EpiPen. <laughs> I'm gonna take a bite now, cause like I'm feeling fine, feeling dandy, I'm still talking and whatever, so. It's juicy. This is the first time I've bit an apple in like, What's your new teeth? over 10 years. Cause I was probably eight or so when I developed the allergy and like, 10 years would have been 18. So it's probably been close to 10 years since I've had an apple, that's insane. Like the nuts so we're just gonna eat it eat this here bite wait a little bit hope for the best so because I already have a cold this weekend I'm not gonna push it I think I'm just gonna eat half if it comes down and like I think I can handle it just in case because like when you already have a cold like you're already congested as it is don't want to like add anything on top of it but Shoot, we'll see what happens. Okay, it's been a minute. I put tater tots in the oven and I'm still feeling solid, so I'm gonna go for piece number two. Hi, you wanna bite? You wanna bite? Hmm? Gotta take a bite. <laughs> you got a bite. Like a pear. I taught him how to take bites out of a pear. Yeah, bite, bite, there we go. Good boy. My dog loves fruits and vegetables. Super weird. <laughs> but you know, you get an apple, Howie. He's a healthy boy. He also likes flowers. 
Glass. Glass? He ate glass? Plastic. Oh boy. Plastic, uh, Christmas bulb. I go off to school and my boy is eating glass. Such a good boy. Bye! He took the apple and ran. Here. And not my finger. That would be bad. We'd be going to the emergency room for a whole other reason. <laughs> okay. Well. I'm like a seed here. I'm not having the seeds. In case anyone's wondering, you're propped up on a few boxes of Thin Mints because Thin Mints are the only vegan Girl Scout cookie. So, we stocked up. You know how hard it would be to be vegan and allergic to all these fruits? So glad that I'm not allergic to all these fruits anymore. As a kid, so I was allergic to apples, celery. No, you can't have any more apple. Go sit. Apple, celery, watermelon, cantaloupe, grapes, oranges, green peppers. <laughs> Am I missing anything? Pears for a while. Like air outside. Yeah. Basically anything that grew outside for the longest time. But now the only things I'm not eating were apples melon and watermelon so uh, feeling good so far let's see what happened i'm still feeling fine that last piece is howie stop it he wants more apple <laughs> he does this with carrots too like he barks at you until you share your carrots be ruined but i don't know i don't want to eat the whole thing because like that's putting a lot into my body like after years of not having it so I want to like slowly build up the immune system back to like ingesting it, but I don't know. I really want to finish it. It's so juicy. What the nuts, guys? I'm eating an apple. Shoot. <laughs> I had a teacher in high school that would always forget I was allergic to apples and start eating them in class. And I was like, yo man, you can't eat that with me in here. But anyways, it was fine. Long story short, this man, when he finished this apple, he ate the entire, the entire apple. The core and all. It was so weird. <laughs> like, he ate the core. I'll never forget that for as long as I live. Like, my high school teachers were a who and a half. Let me tell you. I'm gonna eat the whole thing minus the, like, two and a half pieces Howie's now stole from me, so. You want this, bud? Come here. Can you sit? Look at the good boy sitting. <gasps> yeah. Hmm. Abby, wanna bite an apple? Hmm. She definitely can't bite it off. She's too small. Come here, Abby. Abby, you want one? Don't tell her she can't do that. <laughs> I didn't want to have a reaction because I obviously want to eat apples, but I was kind of hoping at the same time something crazy would happen because that would have made a wild vlog. Like, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> Imagine it. <laughs> like, oh boy. <laughs> but it's okay. We're going strong. We've almost finished the apple, Howard. He's mad because I'm not sharing anymore, so. He's pouting now. Okay. Finish the apple, it's all gone, except for the core, which this is all the gross stuff my teacher actually ate. Like, what the nuts? Who, why? Ah. All right, I'm putting this little buddy back in my purse because I don't foresee us having an emergency reaction anytime soon, but. The Benadryl will be at hand in case something happens, but I think I've lived, guys. Whew. That sounds so weird. I'm about to eat an apple. Your apple cutter doesn't work. <laughs>